it's time to set up your Facebook Pixel. In this episode, I will show you the best Facebook Pixel plugin for WordPress. And I will set it up with you step by step in less than 10 minutes. I will show you four simple things you need to do to get your Facebook Pixel up and running. I'm not going to waste a second of your time. Here are the four things we need to do. One, we need to go into your Facebook Ads Manager and create the Facebook Pixel first. Two, we are going to go into your WordPress dashboard and install the best plugin for the Facebook Pixel tracking. Three, we are going to set up conversion events using the Pixel plugin. And four, if you have a purchase page, we are going to give it a value so that Facebook knows how much your products are worth per conversion. Ready? Let's get started. Let's jump right in and start at step one, creating your Facebook Pixel. We start at your Facebook Ads Manager dashboard. Click on the three lines and select Events Manager. Click on the green plus button and click on Connect Data Sources. Select Web because we want to track traffic on our website. Hit Connect. Select the Facebook Pixel and hit Connect. Now it's time to give your Pixel a name. A pixel should be named after the product or niche you are promoting. Since I am promoting my Easy Facebook Ads course, I will call my pixel Easy Facebook Ads. Hit Continue. Alright, we are finished with step 1. Simple and easy so far, right? Let's continue to step 2, which is to install the best pixel plugin for your WordPress site. So open up your WordPress website right now. This is what my dashboard looks like. On the left hand side, find and click on the plugins icon and select add new. Here is a thousand dollar secret. What do I think is the best pixel plugin for WordPress? Well, you know I like things that are simple and easy to use, right? So my choice is a plugin called the Pixel Caffeine. So type that in. This is what it looks like. A blue cup of coffee. <laughs> Cute. Click install now. After it's installed, Hit Activate. Once activated, you will see this screen that welcomes you to the Pixel Caffeine. Click on the green button that says Set Up Now. Now click on the blue button that you just can't miss, Facebook Connect. Pixel Caffeine will then request access to connect to your Facebook account. Press Continue. It's also requesting access to help you manage ads for your ad accounts. Press continue. Now you'll be taken back to WordPress. Simply select the ad account you want to connect. And under that account, select the pixel that we just created together. Mine is called Easy Facebook Ads, so I will select that. Click apply when done. Alright, we are done with step 2. We are halfway done. Good job so far. For step 3, we are going to set up conversion events in the Pixel Caffeine plugin so that it tracks activities on your website and give the information to Facebook ads. I'm happy to say that it's super simple and easy to do this. Just make sure you have your web pages ready. Here are my web pages. I have a landing page. This is the first page that a visitor will see when they land on your website. Once the visitor opts in to your business by giving you their email address in exchange for a lead magnet, for example, they will arrive on the second page, the thank you page. If you have something to sell, you can also create an upsell page. If someone purchases, they will arrive on the third page, called the purchase page. That's it. Three pages. Landing page, thank you page, and purchase page. Now let's create conversion events for them in our new Pixel plugin in WordPress. Back on WordPress, in the Pixel Caffeine plugin, select the tab Conversions and Events. Let's set up our first tracking event. Our first event will be called View the Landing Page because we want to track anyone who clicked our ad and arrived on our landing page. Leave the trigger on Page Visit. In the URL field, select is exact. Then open up your landing page, copy the URL, and then paste it back in this box. In the event field, make sure it says viewed content, because that is what someone did when they landed on your landing page. They viewed your content. Click 
create tracking. You can see our first tracking event is created, viewed landing page. Okay, now let's create our second event, the lead event. So under name, type in lead. Under URL, also select is exact. Open up your thank you page. Anyone who lands on this page will have become a lead. So copy the URL and then paste it back in this box. Under event, select lead. Then hit create tracking. If you have a purchase page, you can create your third event now. Otherwise, you are done. To create the third event, it's exactly the same process. Under name, call it purchased. Under URL, select is exact. Open your purchase page, copy the URL on the top of the page, and paste it in this box. Under event, select purchase. Then hit create tracking. And we are now done with the third step. You can see we have the view landing page event created, the lead event created, and the purchased event created. If you don't have a purchase page, then you are completely done. If you do have a purchase page and created the purchase event, there is something else we can do to let Facebook know how much our products are worth so that they can keep track of it, which is the fourth and last step, giving your events a value. Since we only make money when someone purchases our product and services, the only event we need to add value to is the purchased event. Under the purchase event, select the blue edit icon, click on pass advanced data to turn it on. Under value, fill in how much your product is selling for. For me, I'm currently selling my product at $200, so I will put down 200. Then select a unit of currency, which in most cases is the United States dollar. Select that and click save. Congratulations, your Facebook pixel is set up for your WordPress website. See, I told you it was going to be simple and easy, right? Cool. So what do you think? Do you have any questions or problems when setting up your Facebook pixel? Let me know in the comments and I will create new tutorials to make sure you get your pixel installed correctly. Now that you have your pixels installed, let me show you ways to make your pixel more compliant with the Apple iOS 14 update. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button because in the next episode, I will show you how to set up your Facebook Pixel with the ClickFunnels software. And as an added bonus, I will also show you ways to improve your tracking information so that we can limit the negative effects of the iOS update. I'll see you in the next episode.